Greetings, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Pearls from the Pastor. Now, my name is uh, uh, Reverend James Francis Brooks, and I serve as the pastor of the Lily Baptist Church of Brumman Heights, Tarrant, Alabama. Tonight's Pearl, I want to talk about trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. I remember one of the great uh, ministers and preachers of pulpiteers of all times, the Reverend uh, C.L. Franklin. He's the father of Aretha Franklin. He ran a lot of revivals. And when I was a young man, he recorded a very many records. At the time I had vinyl records and uh, he recorded them. And usually when he closed out his sermon, he would sing that song, I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. The text of the basis of our little talk uh, this morning is from Proverbs chapter 3 and verse number 5 and oh yes we'll look at verse number 6 too this is an old familiar text that says trust in the Lord with all your heart do not lead lean to your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your pass straight. Now that's from the New American Standard uh, Bible. Man, oh, in those two verses, so much is being said. This is a father who is sitting down with his son and giving him some wise information. First thing he says in this verse, trust in the Lord. Depend in God. Things may not go the way you want them to, but you ought to put your trust in God. C.L. Franklin used to say, I will trust in the Lord until I die. Not for short, so much being short-sighted, but uh, I will continue to trust in the Lord through my ups and downs in my life. I will trust in the Lord. And look at the next one. He says, lean not to your own understanding. I'll tell you what, I've got a lot of time and a lot of trouble in my life leaning on my own understanding. Now, leaning... I, I walk with a cane sometimes. And the reason why I walk with it because sometimes I get unsteady. And uh, I think Brother Bird told me the other week, said, you need to carry your cane with you. <laughs> I carry my cane so I can lean on it. Lean not to your own understanding. Amen. Another word for lean is depend on it. Amen. Depend. Don't depend on your own understanding. Your own understanding is made up out of your own thoughts, your own knowledge, everything your own, but your own. But you lean not to your own understanding. And then the sixth verse said, in all your ways, acknowledge him. Amen. Amen. In all your ways, in everything you do, you ought to check in with God. You ought to acknowledge him. One of the worst things a person can do is uh, not acknowledge God as to who he is and what he's all about. Amen. You ought to acknowledge him. 
and he will. The last clause says, and he will. You can trust him because he will make your path straight. Now, that's not saying that uh, you won't have any trouble in your life and all those kind of things, but he'll make your path straight. Amen. A straight path will lead you to the right depth, uh, destination. That's what he's talking about. My brothers and sisters, trust in the Lord. My brothers and sisters, go with the Lord and go in peace. Goodbye.